Hello, everybody. Let me just make one last adjustment here. Hope everyone is having a uh, good day, good evening, good morning, whatever it is. Uh, if you find this stream later, hello, hello. I don't know if the camera is set up right. Uh, all right. Um, and welcome to everybody in the side chat. I'm going to get a look at that in a second here, if I can ever figure out why this is. Oh, well, now I can't see anything. Ah, that's what I get for just coming in, sitting down, and hoping things will work. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, there. Yes. All right. Nope. That's not what I want. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now let's see what people are saying over here. All the snide comments. <laughs> hey, Walter. Hey, Carrie. Sue Bear, welcome, welcome, Cap, welcome, everybody in the side chat, welcome. Uh, is it a Norwegian blue? I don't know. The cartoon is black and white, so I couldn't tell you. Um, uh, but yes, it is probably a parrot who has uh, who has shuffled all this more off this mortal coil has ceased to be is a former parrot yes undoubtedly um hey liz uh <laughs> carrie loves that's very good to know um hopefully the hubby is not uh in the room at the moment <laughs> uh let's see anybody that i miss Oh, Sue Bear's key is in, is in her lap. Mine just came in, or one of them just came in and yelled, and oh, now he's just laying over there, looking out into the hallway. Out of view, again, This he does not want to be a YouTube star, stupid cat. Um, so, as, uh, as advertised, um, oh, this will not go, there we go. Uh, main point. Tonight is to uh, uh, look at some Ethel Hayes and Gladys uh, Parker cartoons and uh, come up with some fun little captions. Actually, I think it's all uh, I think it's all um, Ethel Hayes because a uh, friend walked off with a with a jump drive that had a bunch of the. Um, cartoons without captions on it and i haven't gotten it back from him uh so yeah these are just let's see one one two three four five ethel hayes cartoons and you funny people can make up captions for them and then they'll go on the shades of gray blog uh the ones from last time we did this is are going up i believe uh first week of july so everybody will get will get uh, credit by their uh by the youtube youtube names and if you have uh sent me an email address and there were, and you know a new low games book that is your favorite you will get one for free and in, in exchange for your wittiness um did i see dan at the very top of this thing hello all good news on the chili front on Chili's criminal history video is now back up and copyright free. Excellent. That is fantastic news. Um, I'm going to leave my copy of it up, though. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, hopefully people will go watch and will run over there and watch it. Um, new comments, it says. Is this a character you developed, wrote? Who, Flapper Fanny? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, Flapper Fanny uh, was created by Ethel Hayes uh, way back in 1925. Uh, she drew the cartoon until it's basically it's. Uh, the format of the cartoon is, or the, of the cartoons is there's a drawing um, and then there's typically some sort of wry observation or pun that uh, sometimes a little bit off color, uh, especially 1925. Um, 
but no, 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 no. I had I had nothing to do with with creating Flapper Fanny. I've just been uh, gathering up the cartoons. Uh, they entered into the public domain uh, back in the fifties, I think, maybe a little later. Um, the syndicate that that produced them changed hands a couple of times, and some of the older stuff sort of fell through the cracks. And um, yeah, yeah, folks down in Australia and in Eng and actually in Great Britain too, uh, they all had that reaction to the name Flapper Fanny. But uh, again, we're talking about a cartoon from the nineteen that's created in nineteen twenty five. And uh, well, ran through actually the mid '40s. Uh, three different artists did it. Uh, female artists uh, writing and drawing about uh, kind of you know womanly things, if you will. Um, but some of them are pretty funny. Some of them, the captions are uh, a little a uh, little outdated or just eh, not quite there. So. We've stripped them off, and hopefully, uh, you know, if you guys come to something fun, we'll put that on the blog along with the along with the cartoons. Um, I should probably link to the Flapper Fanny cartoons uh, down below. Well, let me just take care of that right now in case somebody wants to go look at them. Uh, and also, I guess I should ask. Uh, well, here, let me put up the. Oh, I'm sorry, Sue Bear, that you're not feeling well. Um, hopefully, it'll uh, will get better. But yeah, Walter, um, when we found these, oh uh, well, a friend of mine found them and and turned me on to them, and I went digging some more. And as of right now, there is a Flapper Fanny cartoon scheduled at the Shades of Grey blog uh, through, I believe, the end of 2026. Um, so about 100 and there's like a 100 and I want to say 180 of them scheduled so far. Uh, and we still have about 100 sitting around. So uh, I, I, I basically go through and I clean them up a bit and I try to. And the ones I'm going to be showing tonight, I haven't finished cleaning up. I've barely started on them. Uh, but yeah, I put the link there if anybody wants to come up uh, on the panel. And I'm also going to uh, do this. Just give me one quick moment, people. So yeah, like I said, I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, let's see, here we go. Um, yeah, if anyone wants to come up, they have any sort of news or anything they want to share with people, want to plug your YouTube channel, whatever, that's fine. But we're going to get to the main show in a second here. Let me just uh, do this for if people are curious, because I, I think most folks already was subjected to a very long history of uh a flapper fanny um the uh walter had not you know had, had, was not here when we went through that i don't think but if uh let's see is that the right yes that is okay so if anybody wants to go uh, oh frick see i'm i've learned not to curse sort of um if anybody wants to go look at that, uh, oh, it's too thick. Oh my gosh! So yeah, there's there's uh there's the flapper Fanny or the Fanny Fridays over at Shades of Grey. Oh, I see. We have a cartoonist in the house, a real guy, real cartoonist. Hello, Stan. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, let me know if Stan has an echo, people, in the side chat because I am. Not wearing a little earpiece right now, because uh, I really thought I'd just be talking and that would be it. But welcome, Stan. I'll and... try not to echo. 
and i don't know if you, you can you know, you're on youtube or where how are you coming at this because they're all saying hi in the side chat to you as well oh so. uh yeah i'm just i'm coming in the stream yard but okay uh, you are well. can you i look are. at the chat can i see the comments oh there we go i can see him now hello everyone yeah you are a welcome addition to the proceedings okay well um well, I saw you. I saw you posted. You're going to do more flapper fan ass. Like, well, I'm really tired, but I want to do some, some, uh, some, get, some jokes with Steve. All right, I like it. All right, so let me get the first one up there. Uh, man, if I well, no, the the dentist talk makes me remember that there's one of the cartoons that uh is dental oriented one of the flapper fanny ones um but i'd have to go digging for it and that would take a while uh let's see there we go then i have to go over here and do this stream yard thing yeah i'm still trying to figure things out Stan, as you can see um <laughs> uh still amazed at at your uh oh are you doing a a uh live stream this week yes Don't tomorrow me. tomorrow evening 6 p.m pacific time there will be another random encounters live live yeah basically stan rolls a die twice sometimes three times yeah or just <laughs> twice and then you do the bonus at the bottom and he draws a cartoon based on that and sometimes you take requests from the audience as well yeah yeah the, you know i the goal is if I can get a regular audience large enough to to make at least uh, some of them always go to the audience. Okay. Well, I will make sure that I go to your channel and put it. Hello, uh... Subair. Subair said hi to me, so I'm saying ah. hi. That I will put a uh, uh, a link on my community page to it. And... I which is seen by by tens of people every week. Um, uh, you know what? Tens would be an improvement. <laughs> yeah, I just wish my my actually maybe tomorrow it will be. Yeah, I'll just make my trainee do all the work, and then I I can watch you cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. So here is the first flapper fanny of the evening. Let me make it bigger. Huh. And I have absolutely no recollection of what the original caption was, but I think it, it, it involves something about uh, a, a soft letdown is never easy or, or a hard, I, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> but so yeah, there was a guy, he's proposing or swearing his love or whatever for for a lady that's looking thoughtful and there's flowers and gifts and a diamond necklace on the ground and then you've got our here our heroine flapper fanny in the back here hiding behind uh -huh. the tree so uh i have no real ideas except something that's off color i um, you know what i i mean Usually they're very, they're very um, removed, right? They're, these aren't they? They don't they don't feel like something that someone they feel like someone making a comment about what's going on rather than than you're really getting into the heads of the people on that. But I look at that, and my first thought is that uh, to have Fanny saying something like, "Yeah, that you know, it, that worked." That worked even better when he said it to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good one. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and like I said, these are, I haven't gotten around doing much touch up on these at all yet. So there's going to be all sorts of. Uh, it, it hurts like, when you find out you were the beta tester. <laughs> it hurts when you find out you were the pit. 
Oh, yeah, something to do with test audiences or beta testing or something. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Test market. Yeah. Um, it's a focus group. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's that's i guess the moment before uh oh no he's trying to yeah i guess you could have taken either way fanny is saying it or the blonde woman is saying it yeah he's, he's trying to he's trying to make amends yeah yeah that's another good one um oh yeah and i don't know the, la the last time i did this i pretty much you know there were like five or six of them i had to pick because they were all good <laughs> and i think i'm gonna end up with in the, in the same situation tonight which is which is great you guys are funny <clears throat> um let's see we have uh liz oh yes yeah, so i really need to put all of them up on the screen because i learned something very important i got i had it i had a uh thing knocked off the air because of uh of copyrighted material um the song was requested and i played it and youtube went bad bad steve nbc is now coming after you so I said, okay i'll edit it out and i discovered that when you edit your video the side chat the entire side chat gets nuked huh. so there are things that make no sense now and i need to preserve all of these all of these comments because you know they're they might go up on the blog. Although, just in case Liz doesn't make the stream. Okay. Dragons, polka dots, and hot pink. <laughs> okay. I will keep all of those in mind. Not even sure what I've, I, you know, I, I worked up my encounter tables. Uh, usually, I do it the next day after the after I finish one, I work up encounter tables for the for the next week, and so I don't. I'm not sure what I put on there. Ah, okay. So you do one? Oh, it's a new encounter table every week. Oh, I update them. It's not usually. I, if something gets rolled, I take it off and I replace it with something else. And then sometimes oh. I just look at a few that haven't been chosen and go, "Okay, that's been up there for a while. Let's put something new on." Okay, I haven't, I, I hadn't actually, that hadn't dawned on me because I've, I've, I think I've, well, I've only made it to what, two of them, I think. And you've done how many? Like four or five at this by now? This is the 10th. The 10th? Oh my God. Okay. Well, then I made it probably to three or four. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, um, last time all i got to see where you draw on the the gnome on the back of the the bull the bull, the bull riding gnome yeah yeah which i thought was very funny um all right meanwhile they've been giving us jokes over here oh dear fools really do fall in love and of course we can always rely on dan <laughs> i had given you flowers chocolates and jewels and still i can't get a blowjob uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> it's a little on the nose, as it were. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> oh, can't believe he's begging like a fool. Yeah. Oh, see the thing about what, what the blonde might say is say, yeah, Fanny said you'd say that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, Perry, I'm trying to come up with something about the chick behind the curtain being Fanny's side piece. Um, oh, is that a curtain? I've seen it was a tree. I guess I it is a curtain. A curtain. Isn't it? I think it's at. I think it's at 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 a uh, theater. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, pay yeah. more attention to that flapper behind the curtain. Now I see it's a curtain. I, I'd always seen that as a tree until just now. Uh, but yeah, okay. Yeah, she, she's walking around in very little. If that's a tree, she's just out in the park. In the, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, my heart is exploding for you, Fanny. Uh, 
Another one bites the dust. That lady really is a gold digger. Yeah. <laughs> now, if it is a theater. Honey, I swear, I was only measuring her boobs. Uh, well, that's also a true statement right there. <laughs> Well, I guess uh, he's also was inspired by uh, by the comment about her being the side piece, and that was the moment that he discovered Fanny liked rug and not rod. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dan comes in and does his level best to get YouTube to shut my channel down, at least twice a week. <laughs> um. <laughs> But interesting, Carrie mentioned this about Fanny's side piece. It's actually one of these that is uh, on that jump drive that somebody walked off with that I need to get back. Um, wow, some corny lines off stage, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because um, there's a couple of those where I was thinking, okay, maybe, may, maybe there needed to be some sort of uh, you know Pride Month joke or something in there. Um, but since these aren't going to really show up until July, unless I really hurry, which I won't have time to. You got two days left. Yeah. Um, <laughs> face palming Welsh News Network. Yeah. All right. So any other last minute ones on this one before we move on to number two? Uh, we'll just let it clear out or give it a few more moments uh, since I realize there's a lag between when I do something and when I threaten it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> worst proposal ever. He sounds like a dying calf. <laughs> Meh. Yeah. Oh, Mammy. He's singing. Uh, uh, it's not you, it's me. Well, that is true. It is Monkey that gets my first minute right canceled. That is very true. <laughs> That's why he doesn't get to request songs anymore. <clears throat> All right, I am going to go to the next one now. Oh, I keep doing that. So what are the headlines? Should we see the headlines? Oh, speaking of headlines, I... Heard of the most horrible murder that uh, just occurred, but um, let's talk about fun things like Clapper Fanny instead. Um, all right. Oh, and also a home invasion robbery. This I will mention. Um, I think it was uh, Capitol Hill neighborhood in Seattle, I believe, or maybe it was Belltown. A guy armed with a pitchfork was, was burglarizing this guy's house. The guy comes home, uh, the pitchfork guy stabs the homeowner with the pitchfork in the face after knocking the homeowner down. Homeowner gets up and runs away into his bedroom where he has a gun. Pitchfork burglar yeah. follows him into the bedroom. Homeowner tr tried to shoot the burglar, but the gun jams. Fortunately for the homeowner, he has a samurai sword on the wall. So now we have burglar with the uh, with the pitchfork fighting with the homeowner who has a samurai. Sword. Sword. <laughs> oh. Now samurai homeowner stabs pitchfork guy with uh, with with the sword a couple of times, and then he you know calls cops. <laughs> pitchfork guy did initially go to the hospital, but he is currently booked into the King County Jail. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, sometimes uh, truth the, the, the guy is robbing the place with a pitchfork. That was his I, best idea was to go in with a pitchfork. Yeah. I, I, you know, part of me is wondering, okay, did since the guy had a gun in his bedroom and a samurai sword, was the pitchfork in the house or did the pitchfork guy bring it? That, that part is unclear, but <laughs> he, he was armed with a pitchfork when the homeowner, uh, confronted him and because first they were just tussling the homeowner was uh, 70 71 years old by the way i should probably mention that too wow uh, yes 
71 year old with a samurai sword yep sometimes uh life is like a role-playing game d20 modern yeah, <laughs> yeah. uh well he sh yeah <laughs> yes if, if he was australian that's that's that is what he would have carry um I don't know if you were here the night she was telling the story about the the guy that beat a beat a uh a, a burglar with his didgeridoo and then chased him down the street in his underwear <laughs> no no but that sounds like quite the story maybe that 70 year old guy is an australian and he immigrated to the united states i love the idea of someone chasing him down the street go oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think he was hitting him with it, but yeah, that's even funnier. Um, you know, I don't know if Washington is a stand your ground state. I've it's really not. No, it. Washington is not a stand your ground state. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Oh, he says that is not a stand your ground state. Yeah, that's true. But I think if you get stabbed in the face with a pitchfork, it's okay to respond with a samurai sword. Yeah. Or that I believe. No, that they did, I mean, you still can defend yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Liz here. I wonder if throwing stars were next. Yeah, probably. Actually, yes. I'm again, it you know, violent and brutal in real life and all, but part of me is is is, you know, hearing uh either Yakety Sax or uh the Namana song and as as they're they're running around uh with this fight. Um but yeah, true story. All right, moving on. Next flapper fanny. Oh, wait, we did this one, didn't we? This is a dancer one. That um, looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, we did this one already. So I guess not five, just four. Uh, I don't know why that ended up in the wrong folder, but oh, well. All right, well, here we go. Uh, get your fat jokes out of the way, everybody. Uh, uh. Or not. <laughs> You got flapper fanny with one sandwich or oh no they're not sandwiches they're what are those things from the other night carrie uh oh good night kelly thanks for stopping by appreciate it bye kelly uh bro carrie bro kelly or whoever's kelly. going kelly's going carrie is still here okay uh, i have no idea what that means f-a-f-o oh okay yeah fuck around and find out yeah <laughs> Yes, Tim Tams. So Flapper Fanny has uh, one Tim Tam on her plate. And, uh, Flappy Fanny, I don't know what to, whatever. Wow. The, other, the other lady. <laughs> hey, I'm a fat guy. Um, I can make fun of, of this. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but, and then she's got five, five Tim Tams on her plate. Yeah. And an eating one, so six uh so and and tim tams are basically chocolate biscuits they're i'm i'm familiar with tim tams oh you are okay you are you you are a man of the world i'm an international I, traveler i have no i had no idea what they were and i had to look them up and then we got off on a tangent talking about australian treats and they have an ice cream that's called um uh, golden rainbow no not golden rainbow uh, whatever. I found the name very funny. Um, uh, just because of you know, it's being Pride Month and all. Uh, let's see. You're only eating one Tim Tams. I can eat 25. <laughs> so that's why the serving table was empty. <laughs> oh, yes. That's what it was. It's the Golden Gay Time ice cream bars. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So Golden Gay Time on a stick. Uh, I'm not saying you're fat. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the shadow of your ass weighs more than the Titanic. Oh, that's just mean. <clears throat> yeah, although her face facial expression does kind of. She looks like she's wondering about something. 
or is amazed about something. I don't know quite what. Uh, and I think the original caption on this was uh, being hungry is a thin excuse for being fat. Which, eh. No, I mean, it. it it's wordplay. You got to give it that. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. I mean, and sometimes they have funny wordplay and other times they fall flat. And that one, to me at least, felt like it fell, <laughs> fell flat. Uh... I'm so messed up. That would be a caption for this, I guess. <laughs> As well. <laughs> we have... <laughs> if you like a gay time. <laughs> oh, that's like me posting posting uh, out of context panels with superheroes talking about uh it's how 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 something is queer <clears throat> yeah <laughs> wow this sofa is stronger than it looks well, it... <laughs> uh see i'm trying to think of something about eating eating your feelings right that's a that's a idea that's getting thrown around in humor a lot these days eating your feelings yeah but Ooh, I got to get more ice pop soon. Sue Bear is talking about ice cream, but they still work for the captions. Uh. <laughs> um, so how long have you been married? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm on a diet. Why do you ask? <laughs> Can she fit in those shoes? <laughs> That's why she's sitting. Yeah. Yeah, this may be the only character that Hayes drew that didn't have tiny feet, actually. Um, yeah, I like Liz's comment, too. So how long have you been married? <laughs> <laughs> I think right now Liz has this one. That's, I, that's definitely in the lead. I've... I'm getting like I have I have rough ideas, but nothing is coming together. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm just looking at the yellow and going, "Okay, gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. Gotta fix that." <laughs> How does she fit in those shoes? I kind of like that one too. <laughs> uh, When's the baby due? <laughs> uh, all right. The amount you're eating, you must have the heart the size of Everest. Okay. Dancing into the fat jokes. <laughs> you're feeling attacked. <clears throat> well, okay. <laughs> well, um, when she was in her teens, my sister got put on, on diets to gain weight because she didn't eat enough. So uh, that happens. Uh, uh, let's see. When's the baby do? <laughs> yeah, this one isn't as aspiring as some that you have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're at the 10 minute mark on this one too i believe so uh i'm gonna move on to the next so the last few uh i want to come back to this one i'm gonna this one's gonna bug me we're gonna go back to it okay all right uh, i want to you don't have to i'm gonna i'll just sit up all night thinking about this <laughs> well you have my email and my phone number you can call um i am up late so if you call me late, but don't call me early. Don't call me after like eight o'clock or nine o'clock unless it's Friday when I'm having to go to meetings. Um, but yes, whatever you think of, Stan, 
reach out. Yeah, if I no, take it, I'll let you know. All, All right. right, steal your joke. <clears throat> now I give. Yeah, I will give everybody full credit. Um. All right. So, no, uh, no last minute ones. So let's see what the next one is. Since I've squeezed up these folders, apparently, well, let's make that one bigger. So there they are. She's got his wallet. Is that his wallet? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, must be. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess. Let's see if I'm pointing right here. I never can remember. Uh, and I can't get over and point at the screen. I can wave my arm and you guys can see me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, maybe we can zoom in some more. <laughs> okay. Oh, fine. Give Stan your digits. <laughs> well, I've known Stan since 1997. <clears throat> uh, no, earlier than that. No, 90, in 97. It was 97? Okay. Uh, he looks like a pimp. <laughs> I think... Um, trying to remember the I think the original caption on this was something like uh the modern fortune teller seeks fortune uh the modern fortune teller uh reads the future in a man's billfold or something along those lines um it was a slightly more elegantly phrased than that but mm. not much but it was something about a basically seeing the future in the guy's wallet reading the guy's wallet for the future i think that's what it was um yeah the, the modern fortune teller reads the man's wallet to 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 determine the future that's yes that's what it is that's what it was um let's see you bula bula i want the mula <laughs> And that has now also been immortalized. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Um, yeah, that doesn't quite work. Or maybe it does. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Surrender Monkey. Welcome. Yep. You're missing the opportunity to make up jokes. Uh, she has both her ears. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Sounds like you guys had an eventful evening. <laughs> so, if you can if you can afford to dress that badly, you've got too much money. Yeah, yeah, that those coats have got to be one of the weirdest fashions. Well, actually, no, there are there have been weirder fashions, sure. but I say there's been a lot of weird fashions. Yeah, yeah. But those fuzzy coats always seemed odd to me, or the, the furry coats. Um, oh, Liz is, oh, Liz is cheating on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, it, it could also be a, be a notebook of some sort. It doesn't necessarily have to be a wallet. Um, and if someone has a joke that makes it something different, there can always be some editorial magic done to this cartoon. Uh, although I'm, I'm, I'm not doing a whole lot of that sort of thing with these. I'm trying to, I, I will touch up the art generally, like make her dress solid and hair solid black, for example. But of course I'm interested. Um, of course I'm interested in you. Oh, here's my boy, my boyfriend, Bob. And here is Fred. And so she's going through a little photo. <laughs> Um, yep, raccoon fur coats. And yeah, I'm drinking my take cup of this to work every day. And today I left at home. So it was a very, it was a very sad day at work. Uh, okay, hang on. I will check my schedule. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm trying to decide whether that guy looks worried or curious. Um, yeah, I can't make up my mind. But yes, if you can afford to dress that badly, you've got too much money. Well, you've got a fur coat. It's only fair I get one, too. Yeah. But, yeah, he's looking inquisitive or worried, and she's... <laughs> you know, it really, it looks to me like they stole all that from someone else, and they're just looking at how much they got. Yeah, that's right? actually... The, the, the more I look at this, the more that's what that's what's occurring to me, that, that it's... Yeah, they're seeing what's in there. Uh, <laughs> So did you get my money? Yeah. Uh, so pimps looks the same back in the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he does kind of have a, oh, what is that? What? Oh, my God. Superfly? Yeah. Was that the character? He, You know, he does kind of have that kind of superfly look about him, doesn't he? Uh, <laughs> or the, 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 the villains in the, in the Flash movies. Flash movies. Not Flash. Oh my God. Black action hero. Shaft. Shaft. Some of the villains in the Shaft movies, or some of the some of his informants too. <laughs> but yeah, so maybe Pimp still the same in the day without the big hat. Well, no, he's, he's got, got a pretty big hat. It's he's just got the hat. He's got the hat too bad. You know, there's no head. feather in it. He if that was I mean that the hat kind of needs a feather. Yeah. Oh, hell, maybe I will have to retouch this, make the hat bigger. Um, <laughs> nah. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm... Cap is... Cap's... Thing about that's my boyfriend Fred and Bob and I got something on the very tip of my tongue here and and brain well. playing off of that but it's not kind of like you and the other one this it's just not not coming to me um that's my boyfriend Benjamin and Andrew and oh yeah um <laughs> Fools are parted from their money so easily. But maybe that wallet was in the in the pocket of the coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, I think he stole the coat and they just found the wallet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the coat's ugly, but this wallet's yeah. full. <clears throat> um <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, he's saying, oh, so you have, so you just, <laughs> so you, you, you just have a lot, lots of boyfriends. So why am I dressed like a pimp? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah, maybe there is a pimp joke in here. Uh, She's selling the franchise. Um, she's a madam selling 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 a franchise to this guy. Um, that might be too involved a concept to take care of in a couple of sentences. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Any other last ones? We'll move on. And I may actually have a few extras in, in another folder we can look at after this. Um, you're right. I never would have guessed some, that someone like you had this much cash. <laughs> I mean, someone dressed like you. That someone dressed like you had this much cash. Yep. 
yes. <laughs> or and we're gonna go with the. Uh, oh, let me let me think about this one for a second. Hold on. Um, And as you shave that coat, I'll shave. <laughs> um, uh, I have a number for an exterminator right here. We'll get the fleas out of that coat soon. Uh, soon. Uh, I don't know. Um, Or it's an instruction manual. Uh, about, uh, I'm working on I'm working on one. Okay. Now it says right here, you lay on the rug, don't wear it. The bear rug. No. Um, Hmm. Here's our turning. He looks a little like Tintin. Yeah, he does. You're right. <laughs> um, what was the dog's name? Uh, Rusty. Snowy? Snowy. Snowy. Snowy, yes. Yeah. I knew Rusty couldn't be right because it was a white dog, but Snowy, yes. <laughs> The dog is snowy. Um, uh, <laughs> I need to cook. I, I need to complete my collection. See, here's me with Captain Haddock. Here's me. Here's <laughs> me with. Uh, whatever the professor's name was and and here and, and here are me here i am with both the thompson twins um and dan could probably make that one far more dirty than i just did um all right any other last ones or should we his pants are buggy <laughs> They're, they're, they were very cool back in the. I like, I like what uh, Capilea says. Or you can't pass go without two hundred dollars. There's a lot you can play off that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, actually, just that. Like, same. if you want, if you want to go. <laughs> Whoa, you can't. That can be read in many different ways in this context. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, PD, it's always PD. You don't pass go if you don't pay $200. <laughs> yeah. like, if you want to go, Mr. Monopoly, it's going to cost you $200. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, oh, Subar correct herself to his pants are baggy. Yeah. That's, uh, I guess college college fashions for the mid to late twenties. Yeah, yeah, both of those. PD is always PD, and uh, it says right here you cannot pass go. I think Cap wins this one actually. 
Um, unless Stan gets that inspiration he's been seeking. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I've been coming up pretty much flat. Uh, so yeah, any other uh, last minute ones? Uh, before, Yeah, he looks like Tintin. Tin. There's got to be something that can be done with that. Um, I have to think or think about that. Uh, actually, what were the original Tintins published? It was like early 30s? Yeah. No. Yeah, I have to think about that. Uh, yeah, Surrender Monkey, if you come up with a hip hat thing, uh, let us know. We can always back up. Or, as I said, you can email me. All right. So, I mean, they make this one bigger, I guess. And, yeah, these actually, I think you're right, Liz. These aren't as as easy as the ones I, I had last time around. Um, I have no idea what she's holding. The quality on this one didn't scan very good. Um it looks like it's Medusa's head, actually. <laughs> I think it's just supposed to be a stylish bag of the era. Yeah, th but those those kind of but it sure are, does look like Medusa's head. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the I think the original caption on this one was uh, oh. If he's if if he claims to be a man, uh, claims to be a man with much with many denominations, or claims to be a man with many coins, uh, he's he's probably a collector. I think that was what it was, something along those lines. Basically, if he if he claims that he has a bunch of money, he's probably a coin collector. Blah blah um, blah. Yeah, yeah. That was that was. Uh, there's one let's get that one out there if you want to pass go yeah yep 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 oh yeah uh bouquet of flowers for a wedding yeah i guess it could Maybe. be bouquet of flowers although now i'm stuck on it being medusa's head so <laughs> um but yeah so the guy is looking perturbed. <laughs> I'm just thinking, it's <laughs> what do you mean I need to bikini wax? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they are called bear knickers and <laughs> Called Bear Knickers, and I'd ask you to mind your own business. <laughs> uh, should I tell her about the other? Why, well, yes, I always take my shugath on the first date. Yeah, take your shugath on. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fits in the twenties too. <clears throat> uh. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it could, uh, Carrie, it could be a fan. That's really, really yeah, hard it, to figure out. Yeah, this did not, didn't scan well. And and I've, this one actually is one I've kind of tinkered the most with to try to bring it out. And I think all I've done is made it worse. Um, but that was always just, <laughs> watch me point to the screen. I mean, it kind of um, looks like a giant rat. <laughs> Yeah, that was always just just a blur. Um, but yeah, it could be. It also could be a fan. It's it's those kind of tendrils because there's the tendrils are behind her leg as well as yeah. the of it. So they kind of wrap around. So I maybe a bouquet, a big bouquet, or it could be. Yeah, she carry could be right. Could be a fan as well. Um, or it could be a giant rat. Could be a giant rat. Uh, 
let's see i had the same idea no it isn't a feather no it isn't a feather duster i'm no maid yeah <laughs> i don't care what you say cedric i never miss bowling night <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of con contraptions are these girls carrying these days yeah. Um, <laughs> or it's contraception. Um, <laughs> or, yeah, I brought Medusa's head. You'll stay hard longer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not escaping. That's just how it do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you've never seen a six demon bag before. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I just noticed there's that tendril up by her hand. Looks like an eye almost. Yeah. So, so yes, this is some sort of Cthuloid creature or Lovecraftian creature she's carrying around. <laughs> and so I thought it looked, it could be like a rat's ear. Yeah. Or, or yes, or that, the, that it is a giant rat. God, it's good this cartoon got so messed up in the translation because <laughs> um so glad i'm a man i would never carry something like that <laughs> except you were wearing that coat earlier dude so yeah <laughs> um what you thought that was my real hair <laughs> okay that, that yeah that could be a horrible wig <laughs> um, oh my woman's fashion <clears throat> or oh my woman's fashion <clears throat> either way okay stan we have a cartoon for you or something that i need to do game stats for or something an himalayan fur goblin <laughs> <laughs> yee <laughs> or I always bring my Himalayan fur goblin on a, on, on the first date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't be with my her, my Himalayan fur goblin, you can't be with me. Or if you can't accept my Him, Himalayan fur goblin, you can't accept me. Um, <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that a pet or a purse? <laughs> Just standing here waiting for garbage day to roll around. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> Just, yep. Yeah. thought Merkins were back in style. Harry knees are a thing. It's the latest fashion, yeah. <laughs> what you you've never seen hairy legs or what no, yeah it's my merkin in case the date goes well yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my so much potential here it's gonna have to be thinking about that um I'm just here waiting for Garb to take. What about you? I like that one too. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Although, again, it's kind of behind both her legs. That's easily fixed. <laughs> you could you could clear that up. Yes. <laughs> How many squids were used to make make that thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of squids, here's another thing I saw in the news that would be interesting or read. They have they why I don't know, but. Japanese researchers teamed up with the University of Washington uh, researcher to study the sleep cycle of octopuses. Yeah. And they determined that octo octopuses, octopi, octopuses. whatever, octopuses, okay, octopuses have uh, the same um, sleep cycle as, as most vertebrates and mammals in that they go through a REM stage. They'll be sleeping, 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 and then suddenly they'll be waving their arms. And yeah. some, if they change their colors, they'll they'll skin get all colored, and then they go back to just having the quiet sleep. Um, so yeah, now that's the thing you know. Octopuses have a octopuses dream. Octopuses or, dream. Um, octopuses dream of. And I just went blank. I thought I had a joke there, but it went away. Um, the dream of electric sheep. But yeah. Um, oh, let's see here. Wednesday Adams, great grandmother's first date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, cousin it. There's a cousin it joke there, isn't there? <laughs> um. Uh, the time when uh, Gomez trying to choose between Cousin It and oh my gosh I forget the, the wife's name Morticia uh, Morticia, yeah uh, yeah Baby Cousin It Lurch falls in love. <laughs> <laughs> I traded your fur coat for this new purse. <laughs> your fur coat. Your fur coat is much better off as this purse. It's another one uh, possible on that one. Um. <laughs> oh, Henry, don't you know that Chia purses are all the rage? <laughs> I heard a boom like someone tried to come up. But uh, I got it. I got an email that made it. Ah, okay. Yeah, the sound on this changed from. Oh wait, no, the sound did change. Um, la be before last night, the sound when someone tried to join was sort of a boom sound like what I just heard. Now it's a <laughs> kind of noise. Huh? And initially, I had no idea what. I don't know how I changed it, but. Uh, let's see. Liz says, I wish the last two were combined. Um, you type them out because I'm not sure what you're referring to. Because it might be the, it might be that very joke that the, the Monty Python warned us about. <laughs> <clears throat> and they'll find us all dead at our computers. He's about um, to write the funniest joke ever. Yeah. Chia purses are in this season. Actually, I do like the, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, Sue Bear. Hope you feel better. Um, uh, feel better, Sue Bear. Headaches. Headaches do suck. Add the fur coat cartoon. Oh, 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 the two cartoons. Um, oh, yeah. So have the, the lady with the weird purse and the, the, the others and with the, the guy wallet, with the cartoon coat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, I'll try that. 
we'll see what it looks like. Um, <laughs> I do like the Chia, the Chia first one. And yeah, good luck with the dentist, too, Bear. Thanks for stopping by and giving us some jokes. Much appreciated. Um, all right. Any last minute ones with this one? Before I move on, I think this, I think the last one is, I don't know if that's going to uh, inspire anything, but uh, <laughs> it's the last one that I got in this batch, unless I go digging in folders, but it's almost one o'clock. So uh, we'll be wrapping this one up. Oh, the original Koosh ball purse. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, again, there's a lot of good ones here. Um, so once, yeah. All right, I'm going to move on to the next one. <laughs> Jen actually remember Koosh Ball. I had a deprived childhood. I, I, It's ringing a very faint bell, but I don't know that I ever owned one. You don't remember Koosh Balls? Nope, I remember. I, I, I remember vaguely the name of the thing. If I look at a picture, maybe I'll suddenly go, oh, yeah, those things. Oh, you have one right there. Uh, let's uh, let's actually hang on, hang on. Put Hold that back up. Okay, all right. Yep, I know what those are. Never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. Stan has one, says Liz. I have three. Because I juggle them. Oh, I, I actually look like tribbles. That's what that was reminding me. They do. Well, those are those are soft cushions. The the regular cushions had the thicker uh, spines. On were they them. kind of spiky? Something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think those are. I think those are the ones I I remember. All right, let's see if I can get this back the way it was. Because I figured out I could click on things and, and uh, move them around. Be careful when you click on things. There we go. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you very kindly. You. <laughs> yep, well, that's why it comes, hangs out on my stream. Oh, that's right. But <laughs> yeah. Why else would I be here? That, that, exactly. Exactly. Um, all right, so let's go to the next one, and this is the last one to eat for 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 this time around. And oh dear, yeah. So she's kind of dressed like a gypsy or a Roma, whatever. Yeah. Uh, with the tambourine and everything, and. I'm trying to remember it. the <laughs> the original caption was a, a girl always dresses to kill the night or something along those lines. Um, a girl must always dress to kill the night or to be a night killer, and maybe it was right. something that I didn't understand. But the original were rubber. Okay. Yeah, I. Yeah, I don't know that uh, I was ever that aware. I, again, I'm vaguely remembering them. But huh. know, Dan, Stan, does the doctor not think three is a problem? <laughs> well, he had two, and they and they bred, and now he's got three. Soon there will be. I'm a, I'm a miracle of science. <laughs> Oh, I'm also quite popular with the ladies. Once again, I just showed myself that I really do not have a. Uh, I'm always slow when it comes to the double entendres and off color, off color puns, and I think I just got that one, or I didn't, and I'm on a totally different planet than everybody else. So it's I'll like, be quiet now. The doctor finds more of a problem that they're so soft and cushy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I, I have I have nothing, not even really an inspiration on this except. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the 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 standard Gypsy Roma thing. Yeah. I'm just looking at it and thinking I should you know make her clothes smaller. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? It's nice. Yeah. Now there's one that. Uh, I don't think it's going to actually show up on the blog for about two years, but uh, uh, I forget the joke now, so never mind. I'm going to stop talking. Uh, but uh, the, her basically her dress is stuck in the door and tearing, and it becomes funnier if you uh, make the tear bigger, which then necessitated that basically you can see her butt, which was hinted at in the original. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm a very lonely, lonely man, as everyone can tell. Um, <laughs> but yep, September 19th is Talk Like a Pirate Day. And there actually is a Flapper Fanny pirate cartoon scheduled for that very day, Liz. And I think I even put a joke on there that that wasn't on the original i have to go back and look because i seem to recall thinking up a joke before i got this idea of doing this stuff um and having all you guys do jokes so surrender monkey wow lady that's the biggest ring i ever saw yeah i guess <laughs> yeah. um question how do you turn a pirate furious you take away the p <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah, I guess it could be more of a pirate. Uh, how do pirates prefer to communicate? Eye to eye. I prefer to settle the differences eye to eye. Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are. Yeah. <laughs> they just are. <laughs> I can't read your palm, but if you'll step into my tent, I can tell your future. <laughs> yep, nope, I definitely see the pirate. I see the pirate there now, too. Um, gosh. But I'm coming up with nothing funny. With, I'm the editor, not the writer. <laughs> and I'm gonna come to uh, one liners are not my thing. Someone say being funny is not my thing, and then I cry. <clears throat> um, yeah uh any last minutes on this one guys if not uh i think we're gonna call this one uh because i uh don't have any particular but i also don't yeah <laughs> they let me join the pirate crew because they needed some booty <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh yes there's all kinds of booty jokes here aren't there mm. um that always was something that I never did uh, kind of made me scratch my head a bit. Um, how he resisted it. Uh, uh, Richard Sala in in uh, uh, in the Glass Scorpion, which got republished, which got collected as the Mad Knight. He's got this this. Uh, I'll spoil the book here for everybody, but he's he's got this this uh, pervert who is uh hypnotizing girls to be pirates and so they kidnap other girls for this guy he hypnotizes them into the pirate gang and then he uses his puppets to manipulate them uh, yeah it, and and yeah he, yeah it's it's richard sala um but how he resisted making, you know, not making booty jokes about those pirate girls, I'll never know. Um, 
uh, but no no booty jokes at all in there. Just you know some Nancy some Nancy Drew jokes because the main character is a is a parody of Nancy Drew, completely psychotic uh, and ultra violent uh, girl detective. Um, so yeah, as usual, it's kind of a balance of, of uh, well, Mad Knight and a couple of the uh, uh, the girl with the feet, Peculia. They sort of have this uh, this silent. It's almost like a silent movie horror vibe to them. Um, actually, I take that back. Silent uh, Mad Knight just feels more like a, a early Dargento, actually, in a lot of ways. Um, the one with the voodoo cover. I'm blanking on the titles on these things. Let me see. Pardon me, I lean out of frame because I think I have it <laughs> right here. It's been a while since I've plugged Richard Stahl. So if you, uh... Uh, so yes, total sidetrack here, but another great cartoonist that I need to get around to review. The Chuckling Watsit. Chuckling Watsit is the one that feels like it's, uh, it's, it's sort of silent movie horror, and to the to the point where he's he's even borrowing characters like. Uh, He's got sort of Phantoma character in there. He's got the the other uh, the, the girl. Uh, whatever. I'm I'm my brain is is not braining. Um, uh, God. Verma Earp was the villainous in the serial. I'm trying to think of uh, very famous French thing. Yeah, someone gets someone to come out and and you know revoke my film studies degree because I should remember. <laughs> um, let's see, a vast but not too fast. Yep. I don't get it, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Um, let's see. R, I will shiver your timbers. Shiver me timbers, plunder me unders, and let's get this party started. <laughs> uh, I'll be happy to shiver your timbers. It's 20 bucks, just like in town. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. That's a bunch of good ones from everybody again. Uh, <laughs> um, gosh. All right. Uh, I think, as I said, I'm going to call it here, guys. Thank you all for coming out and for uh, delivering some really good jokes. And if somebody's coming to this to this uh, live stream, you've made it this far into it, and you're still watching, there's always a comment section down below. You can just say which cartoon that your uh, that your joke goes with, or just hell, just post a joke, and we'll figure it out. Uh, and if you weren't here live and you've made it this far, what the hell is wrong with you? Get out of here. <laughs> I like you too, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, why we've been friends since 1997. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Carrie, um, I'd come over, but I would not get there in time. So. <laughs> Enjoy uh, your dinner, Carrie. Yes. Thank Indeed. you for letting me come on, Steve. It was fun. I oh. like the flapper fanny stuff. Thank you, Stan, for dropping by. Um, and tomorrow night, I will be there. Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific. Yes. On yeah, YouTube. Yep. Stan will be 
generating car random cartoon ideas and drawing them and maybe even taking requests from the audience, even ones that involve pink polka dotted dragons. Maybe. I, I think that's what uh, Liz yeah, there's suggested. dragons, pink polka dots, and, and something else. Yeah. All right. And a bit of Fanny. Maybe I'll draw some Fanny. There you go. And uh, Carrie, Carrie, we'll go out on that one, Carrie. Thank you for, for ending us on a classy note. I will see everybody next time. Actually, uh, probably next time will be Saturday at 2 o'clock when I'll be showing rubber tires and hopefully if people aren't busy what did i say I, did i say saturday i meant friday friday at two o'clock um bessie love and rubber tires uh i'll be doing a premiere of a movie from 1927 um it's a uh it has no music it's just the film so maybe we you guys can all play music in the background i don't know but anyhow friday we can all, we can all sing a song there you go but yes, so Thursday, we'll see Stan at six o'clock Pacific, and Friday, if anyone. Oh, Liz, thank you for the link, putting that up there. I appreciate it. Uh, did I? Oh, I forgot. Crap. <laughs> thank you, Liz. That slipped my mind. Um, I thought I had, but I hadn't. And I'll put it underneath the the, the thing to end on my community page. All right. Thank you, everybody. I will see you next time and yes if you're not already subscribed to stan's channel go subscribe uh go look at his his prior cartoon cartooning stuff it's it's fun cartoons and sumo what more could you want in life yes yeah and sumo is generally fridays right friday, friday nights friday, friday nights, sumo. seven o'clock 7 p.m yeah you know my schedule so well you truly are a friend i shouldn't be so mean to you <laughs> Well, why change? Why change things now? Yeah, it's uh, it's just a habit at this point. I can't stop. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming out. And yes, please watch. Please like the stream if you haven't already. Click like, click subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs>